So today, we have an incredible fight on our hands. The King of Wakanda is taking on arguably the greatest Spartan of all time. Black Panther versus Master Chief. Who wins? Let's find out. So as always, start off with strength. Who is stronger? Well, Black Panther has wrestled down a rhino, stopped a charging elephant with his bare hands, routinely fought against African wildlife like lions and panthers, uh, easily sent people flying, thrown a spear through solid stone, and he's even sent Namor flying with a kick before. But Master Chief has shattered concrete with his strikes, overpowered Covenant aliens and elites, flipped over tanks, effortlessly crushed bones, easily punched through energy fields and a jackal's skulls, uh, and he's even ripped the arm off of a Promethean Knight and then impaled it with its own arm. To be honest, I'd say they're fairly even here. What about durability? Well, T'Challa has routinely walked off massive falls, grenade explosions, as well as punches from Thing, Namor, and even Hulk that sent him absolutely flying just fine. He ignored a laser piercing right through his chest and being thrown into a pit of lava. Uh, he's also taken attacks from Iron Man and, and the Fantastic Four. But by far his most impressive feat was withstanding and surviving multiple chi punches from a brainwashed Iron Fist who was going all out and trying to kill him. Keep in mind, one of these punches was able to knock out Colossus cause World War Hawk to scream out in pain and to bring down a shield heli helicarrier. His uh, suit was deteriorating and he was suffering from brain damages and yet he still was able to fight on and to actually win the fight. He also just has uh, an incredible endurance as he fought Killmonger for 13 hours straight. But due to his armor and energy shield, Master Chief is just fine after falling from orbit twice, massive explosions, plasma fire from six hunters simultaneously, and point-blank plasma grenade explosions. He withstood several plasma laser beams from the Forerunner monitor, which could vaporize hunters, and being thrown around by the Didact. Uh, both of their armors allow them to take more damage than they normally would be able to, but... I'm going to give this slight edge to T'Challa here. And now, speed. Well, Black Panther is incredibly fast, as he's effortlessly caught thrown projectiles out of the air like spears, molotovs, he's easily caught arrows, he's dodged bullets while depowered, he's consistently dodged whole barrages of bullets and lasers, he's evaded Namor and the Human Torch, and he's routinely moved as a blur before as well. Captain America even said that T'Challa is faster than the beast he's named for. But Master Chief can run 66 miles per hour and has a 20 millisecond reaction time, and then his armor increases that by a factor of 5. Everything around him moves slower to him. He's moved as a blur, dodged point blank stun rounds from a 30 millimeter cannon, blocked a needle rifle shot after it was fired dodged several shots from several uh, brutes simultaneously, and he's even evaded fire from hundreds of skilled marksmen while in the low gravity environment. Speed is also really close, but I think Master Chief just barely takes the edge. Uh, just barely though. So physicality is basically equal. What about fighting skill? Well, T'Challa is arguably Marvel's greatest fighter, as he's been trained to be a warrior since birth. He's beaten or matched ne nearly all of Marvel's top tier fighters. He's bested M'Baku, uh, White Wolf, Winter Soldier, Daredevil, Iron Man, Killmonger, and he's even matched or stalemated or beaten uh, guys like Wolverine, Iron Fist, even when he's brainwashed and trying to kill him, and even Captain America. He's even beaten a Super Scroll with the powers and skills of several of Earth's mightiest heroes, including his own, in just two to three moves. T'Challa is also an excellent tactician as well, but Master Chief is a master martial artist, an expert in infiltration tactics, and an expert in fighting in low gravity environments. 
To even qualify for the Spartan experiment, you had to be one of the very best, like the best of the best. And then shortly after uh, his experiment, uh, he single-handedly beat three elite level soldiers very quickly and with ease. This was after he said that everything about his body felt weird and unnatural. He's easily bested Covenant Aliens, Elites, and Promethean Knights. He bested John Locke, a Locke another extremely skilled Spartan. Uh, Dr. Halsey and Cortana both said that John 007 is the overall best Spartan ever. Ever. I do believe Black Panther is better here in terms of raw skill, but Chief will do more than just hold his own. But although skill and physicality is fun to talk about, it's their versatility that makes this fight so fun for me to make. Both have powerful armors that allow them to fight against beings that, would, that they wouldn't ordinarily be able to fight against without the, their suits of armor. Master Chief's Mjolnir armor significantly enhances his physicality. It also comes equipped with an energy shield that can stand up to 50 millimeter cannons and if it is depleted it will quickly recharge. He normally carries his trusty MA-58 assault rifle, an M60 magnum, and regular and plasma grenades. And finally he has Cortana, an AI that helps him strategically and tactically and she can scan opponents for their weaknesses as well. C Cortana may be the, the deciding factor in this fight because she can scan T'Challa's suit for the, for the weaknesses and tell Master Chief to aim his gun for the, uh, the gradient on his suit. But Black Panther has his vibranium suit. It's virtually indestructible except for the gradient but even it's durable to bullets uh, and if the suit is damaged it'll quickly regenerate it also it's also completely soundproof and allows him to turn invisible as well but most importantly it uh robs physical attacks of their momentum and absorbs it and stores it in which t'challa can then redirect it as a powerful pulse this means master chief's guns are completely useless and even his grenades are too, to a point. And then uh, there's Black Panther's anti-metal claws. These things, since they break down metal on a molecular level, are going to mess up the Mjolnir armor. Uh, and this also gets rid of Chief's energy shield, because it comes with the armor. If the armor is destroyed, there is no energy shield. Uh, plus, there's Black Panther's energy daggers as well. And I think that pretty much seals the deal for T'Challa. Master Chief could win. He'll get a couple wins uh, due to Cortana. But for the most part, I can't see Black Panther losing this fight. It's an incredible fight, a fight I'd love to see. But I just can't see Black Panther losing uh, consistently to Master Chief. Black Panther's better suit and versatility is just carrying him to victory here. Black Panther wins. Like I said, after an incredible fight, but Black Panther still wins. Like and subscribe if you did enjoy. Leave a comment of what you think and hit the notification bell to be notified of all my future videos and all that great stuff. See you on the next one. Peace.